some of my viewers are in Afghanistan. I presume they're serving in the military. I had them in mind when I went to REI. I thought they might like to virtually go shopping. I've done my best to edit what turned out to be questionable quality video, so please accept my apologies. I have no statement to make about war. I only hope you come home in one piece. Body, mind, and spirit. Enjoy.
Zen saws are really popular here in Minnesota. I have that bear barrel. Hard to see it. That's the solo bear barrel that I want to have. Except I can't get it open. The lock on it is just so tight that I sit down and with all my strength I cannot get that barrel open. I can get the bigger barrel open, I just can't get the little barrel open. The one, the yellow one, you have to use some sort of a tool, like a screwdriver type thing to get the screws off in order to get the top off, in order to get into the food. I have the sweet water. I also have the Sawyer Squeeze, not the mini, but the regular size. I don't like it as well as the Sweetwater, except that it's lighter. But otherwise, the Sweetwater is just so quick because when you're pumping both up and down, you're putting water into it. Most pumps, you're only, I'll have to do a review on this. When you're pumping up and down, you're putting water into your bottle. Most of them, it's only on the down that you're putting water in, so... I also have a Katadin. A little more uh, heavier, kind of a commercial grade water filter.
Well, I couldn't show you all that great gear without showing you where I've used it. Most of the places I've been are in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness in northern Minnesota. I've paddled the largest lake in the world, Gichigami, also known as Lake Superior. Most of my trips are solo. There is something very special about traveling deep into backcountry wilderness by yourself, and yet I never feel alone. There are so many things to do, including nothing. There's pitching the tent, gathering wood, pumping water, cooking the food, and yes, doing the dishes, but none of it is really work. There's fishing to be done, and sometimes catching. I have heard the howling of wolves and the heavy hooves of a moose walking straight through my camp in the deep of night. My favorite is a midnight paddle on a lake of glass in perfect silence that is deafening. Thank you for watching.